Hey guys, welcome to AmeriCruising with Oils. I'm Jessica Heron, and it's Tuesday night, um, uh, oil education night here in our group. And I'm really excited to talk with you tonight because tonight we're going to talk about decluttering our home. I have a few tips for you on that. And then also toxin-free cleaning, of course. So um, let's dive right into decluttering our homes. This is a big time. It's spring. It's I mean, it feels like spring out there. Oh, and then by the way, I better get my group up. I shoot. I wasn't quite ready. <clears throat> if you're here, say hello. And I will get my group up and make sure that I um, can see if people if there's comments. Uh, I think Chiquita's here. There, I see a comment. Awesome. Hello, hello. I don't know. That's so weird. The one time that I had like a whole bunch of comments once, I um, miss, completely missed them. I don't know how I couldn't see them, but whatever. I can see them now. So um, Jackie's here. Hi, Jackie. Yay. Okay. So for decluttering our homes, um, like I said, it feels like spring out there the past few days. We've got grass growing in our, um, in our neighbor's yard and it just looks like spring. So I'm really excited for springtime to get here. And for a lot of people that means cleaning out stuff that you don't need in your house. And um, you know, decluttering actually also makes you feel better, like physically feel better because you don't have all that junk laying around. So while you're cleansing your body, take the time to declutter your home. Um, a lot of people voted for this on our uh, poll a few weeks ago. Um, so that's why we're talking about this today. <clears throat> so first thing you wanna do, use your motivating oils because sometimes it's hard to just get up off your butt and go clean something. Um, there's so many options. My favorite is motivate. Uh, the roller, I like to put it on the back of my neck. Sometimes I'll put it on my temples, um, on my wrists, but I really like putting motivating oils on the bottoms of my big toe because that's the brain and um, it really helps, that really helps me. And then of course you can diffuse it as well um, or whatever oils you want to diffuse. My other favorites are passion because that can make you feel like you're, you know, you're passionate about what you're doing at the moment. Um, you can use elevation to just lift your spirits and that might help you, um, you know, get some stuff done that you want to get done. And then my other all time favorite for, um, staying focused on your task at hand is ro and also for energizing is rosemary and wild orange. Those are my, that's my favorite blend of all, all of them so far. <laughs> Um, because they really help me, you know, get stuff done. Tip number two is take 15 minutes. Just take 15 minutes. You don't have to declutter the entire house in one day. Just take 15 minutes, pick an area of a room, or if your room doesn't really have that much stuff, just pick a room. Like your living room isn't going to have, well, mine doesn't really get cluttered. I don't have a lot of stuff in there. Our... Our big clutter spot is the kitchen table. <laughs> um, but you can um, pick an area of, of your room. Maybe you have a shelf that has gotten really cluttered. Um, then take 15 minutes and just clean it up. S um, s commit to spending that 15 minutes in that spot or um, also commit to spending 15 minutes per day. And then you can either, you can just, you know, go through willy nilly and just pick a spot every time you get up and, and do it, or you can set up a schedule So for yourself. I've started just kind of writing down, like on the edges of my calendar, I, I'll say concentrate on the living room or concentrate on the laundry room or whatever. And um, so that helps me. I'm trying to spend a few weeks in each area in my home. Um, let's see, and then yeah, whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever, whatever makes you feel comfortable in your home and whatever is making you get up and do it. What, uh, what is going to make you feel motivated to do it? 
And <clears throat> excuse me, my last tip is have a place ready for the stuff that you don't want anymore. Uh, it can be the garbage can, <laughs> it can be the recycling bin, or it can be a box labeled Goodwill or giveaway, whatever. And make sure to get that stuff into that box and then get rid of the box, however you're getting rid of it. Um, so I can tell you, uh, we just had a renter that moved out and um, left a bunch of stuff there. So that was really um, fun, getting rid of all that stuff and just then starting clean with a clean house. Okay, so let's get into toxin-free cleaning. Uh, health is the one of the best assets we have, of course. I'm going to break down some stuff before we actually get into recipes. I do have recipes to make tonight, but I wanted to give you some information first. So uh, health, of course, is one of the best assets we have. And while a healthy diet, regular exercise, and proper stress management are self-explanatory foundations for health health-promoting lifestyle, minimizing your toxic load can be just as important. Um, and probably all of them should be on the same list. So um, the proper functioning of your vital organs and the minimization of toxic load influence your health as much as any other controllable factor. And people don't realize how much um, chemical stuff is in the products that are used every day. This, your skin is of course your largest organ, so whatever you put on it goes into your body and um, your organs have to try to break that down, um, break down the chemical constituents of it. And if it can use it, it can use it. If it can't, then it needs to be able to get it out. Uh, whatever you put in the air, like room sprays or dryer sheets, those go into your lungs and your organs have to do the same thing. Uh, many products that people use in their homes every day disrupt the endocrine system. That's your, um, that is your hormone system. And it's not just for reproductor, reproductory hormones, but for all the hormones that your glands um, release just for the normal functioning of your body for all throughout the day. And then of course, once they're released, the hormones act like chemical messengers. They travel around the body. They bind to target receptors on specific cells and they can cause uh, predictable cellular changes, you know, like growth and all of that stuff. So that water bottle that you just drank from, it probably contains an endocrine disruptor. The carpet that you're sitting on, it probably contains an endocrine disruptor. Um, the shampoo you used this morning, endocrine disruptor too. And that cleaner or bleach wipe you used to wash off your counters this morning, they all have endocrine disruptors in them. Um, we are bombarded with hormone manipulators because they're everywhere in all of the industry, everything that um, industrialization has brought us. So um, uh, they're everywhere. So let's discuss the most common ones and more importantly, what you can do to reduce your risk. Endos endocrine disruptors are interesting chemicals because they mimic hormones and then um, they are disrupting and so they are they're harmful for your body even in very small amounts and what i read was that um sometimes people uh you know you're using this you know say a bleach spray or whatever and you get a little bit on your skin you don't think anything of it because it's such a small amount but um they're measured in parts per trillion and so that's really tiny and that means that they, um, of course, are getting into your skin and causing some sort of reaction in your body. And it also is, uh, oh, and then, um, so small amounts can have an influence. Of course, large amounts can too. And sometimes if you get a medium amount of exposure to it, you might not have any symptoms at all just because of the way that our immune system works it might have like a oh what did they call it they called it a um like your reaction to it is not going to be as noticeable as if you had a large um or a small amount um influenced okay so uh as they are measured in or the, since they're so small uh and measured in parts per trillion they're also very stable 
and that means that they don't break down very easy or quickly and that's why a lot of manufacturers include them in products in the first place and it also means they stick around in water air soil and our bodies for a very long time so uh, since our hormone systems are critical to body functions and health when they're changed by uh, endocrine disruptors, potential out outcomes include oxidative stress, um, altered, um, let's see, uh, you know, altered and suppressions, uh, suppression of the synthesis of your sex hormones, um, sensory impairment and social problems, especially when exposed at early ages. Um, and there's so many promotion of uh, obesity, uh, endocrine, uh, endocrine disruptors stored in fat cells. Uh, the more body fat, the more endocrine disruptors have been stored. So that's why it's so important to do uh, regular cleanses in, um, you know, throughout the, th at least once a year. Um, and then uh, it disrupts, they disrupt your immune function, of course. And you know, a lot of people are wondering, why are, why am I getting sick all the time? And it could be your body is just trying to get that stuff out. <laughs> so um, it can also disrupt bone health, cardiac function, and mental status. It can really cause a brain fog. Oh, here's what I was trying to explain earlier. Interestingly, a non-linear response has been observed in many um, endocrine disruptors, and that means that they might wreak havoc at very low and very high doses, but moderate doses might not do anything at all. So with industrializ uh, industrialization, more chemicals are produced, of course. These chemicals make their way into the environment, and as a result, they, endocrine disruptors are found in food, personal care products, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, pesticides, plastics, water, soil, um, cleaners, and, um, and other things. So here's the horrible part. <laughs> Unfortunately, no U.S. law currently addresses endocrine disruptors under an integrated framework. Uh, there is an endocrine disruptor screening program that's currently making its way through an estimated 87,000 chemicals. And while that's a lot, it's sad to know that um, the EDSP still doesn't have authority for regulation. The European Union bans 1,328 chemicals from cosmetics that are known or suspected to cause cancer, genetic mutation, reproductive harm, or birth uh, defects. In comparison, the US FDA has only banned or restricted 11 chemicals from cosmetics. So those are the things you're putting on your skin, but um, it just makes me wonder, you know, what is that bottle of bleach doing when I'm spraying, <clears throat> which I don't use bleach anymore, but what is it doing to me when I'm inhaling that or um, spraying it and I get it on my hands? I wanted, I'm, I don't like that anymore. <laughs> so I um, am so thankful for the benefits, uh, the cleaning benefits of essential oils. And so now that's all I use whenever I clean uh, with some other natural stuff. So green cleaning and natural household products help minimize exposure, of course, and in turn, it'll have a holistic effect on your life, including getting rid of some brain fog because you'll be able to think clearer because you're not getting that toxic stuff going into your brain. Uh, reducing your toxic load can affect all areas of your health and life, helping you stay strong all season. So let's talk about some On Guard products which I completely forgot to go get them and bring them up here. Um, we do have lots of On Guard products and I have my little um, catalog here. So you can see the picture. I've got laundry soap, cleaner concentrate, um, foaming, uh, foaming hand wash, uh, toothpaste or toothpaste up there mouthwash there's the foaming hand wash too in the little dispenser um, we then we also so those are for all of over your home and then of course we have the on guard drops we have the beadlets the on guard um, soft gels the hand sanitizing spray 
and the roller, of course, and the oil. Um, other natural alternatives that you can use for um, cleaning with are baking soda. This is what I use every every time I clean. I use an, one of the oils like On Guard or Lemon, um, baking soda, and white vinegar. And then you can also use Borax, Castile soap. You can make your own hand soap with Castile soap and some essential oils. You can use cream of tartar. I thought that was really odd. Thing to add it does have scrubbing properties like baking soda does but I think it's kind of expensive so I don't know why you'd want to use it but anyway hydrogen peroxide then is the last thing and then for essential oils you've got so many that you can use um, I'm gonna put all this stuff up on the description of the video and uh, so you can use lemon on guard tea tree wild orange eucalyptus arbor vitae citronella clove cinnamon clove and cinnamon and lemon and oregano and thyme all have, um, and on guard, all have antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties. So they're excellent to use for cleaning. You can also use citronella, Douglas fir, green mandarin, grapefruit, lemon eucalyptus, lemongrass, uh, myrrh, peppermint, spearmint, tangerine, wintergreen, purify, and citrus bliss. All right, so let's make some recipes. I have, okay, so I got this really cool set of bottles, and I already emptied it out, but the, the set comes with a couple spray bottles and then different sizes of spray bottles and rollers and lots of rollers. So um, here's the different sizes that it comes with. So you've got the little one, which is two ounces. Uh, this one I think is four ounces. So you can see the difference in sizes. And then um, it also comes with this big 16 ounce size. And you can either put just a cap on or a spray, the spray thing. Okay, so we're gonna make some recipes with these. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, my, all, my all purpose cleaner. And the bottle that I'm using, I got a Norwex one. <laughs> so, oh, and I forgot to tell you that this set um, comes with labels. So you can put these, uh, they're the black chalkboard type labels. So it's really cool. I just got that on Amazon. And so you have lots of different choices there. Oh, I see somebody else came in. If you're joining, let me know who you are so I can say hello. Um, I don't know. Nope, it won't let me see who's watching. That's so weird. Anyway, okay. Uh, All-purpose cleaner. I'm going to use my On Guard um, cleaner concentrate. And this bottle is 16 ounces as well. So I need my white vinegar. Get all my stuff out of the way. We're gonna use, um, not white vinegar. That's not what I wanted. I'm looking at the wrong recipe. I'm, I'm gonna put on a whole bunch of recipes, but I'm not gonna make them. I'm gonna put on um, the recipes on the, the description of the video, but I'm only gonna make uh, just like four or five things here. Four things. <laughs> okay, so all purpose cleaner. I wanna do, um, a, it says a cap full of On Guard now this recipe is for a 22 ounce spray bottle, but I don't have a 22 ounce. Well, I do, I just don't wanna use it because I wanna use these ones. So I'm gonna put in my, and then you also wanna use a funnel, of course. You see that? So I've got my cap full of, or almost a cap full of um, the On Guard's, On Guard, Cleaner concentrate. <laughs> See if my mouth will work tonight. Okay, and Chiquita says, oh, hi, Don. Yay. Okay, so how much for a box? Um, I want to say that box was like 16 bucks for a whole bunch of things. Um, there, and it's, I can't remember how many bottles are in it, but it, I, 
I think I got like eight, eight bottles this side, the little ones, <clears throat> two of these and um, two of these, and then uh, probably 12 rollers, I think, plus labels. So yeah. Now it didn't come with uh, a white marker thing for these, but I already had one. So you, you might want to add that to your list. Okay, so I've got my cleaner concentrate in there. I'm going to do five drops of lemon and five drops of tea tree. So this is just adding to the um, scent and cleaning power of the On Guard uh, cleaner concentrate. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to fill up the rest with water. Oh, I hope I have enough water for everything. I might have to go get more. And see how simple this is to throw this together and not have any, um, you know, any, that's bubbling up a little bit but not have any chemicals in here and I can um, not worry about like if I had kids I don't have any kids at home but if I had any kids around and they got into it then I wouldn't have to worry about it if they accidentally swallowed any so um, so much safer for everybody in the entire family okay I'm gonna let that um, those see the bubbles kind of filled up there when those go down then I can fill up a little bit more with water um, you do want to sh it says to shake it before you use it so I mean that took me 30 seconds to put together and so much cheaper so this bottle of um, cleaner concentrate I just used like less than a tablespoon um, and this bottle I think are 1450 on your wholesale uh, prices so for a tablespoon, that's just like less than a dollar for this cleaning stuff. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, next, let's make, um, I'm putting up uh, recipes for toilet bowl cleaner, but let's do a window cleaner because I need one of those. My husband likes to use the yucky spray kind and it makes my nose burn and I don't like that stuff. Uh, I think Arlene is watching. Hi, Arlene. Oh, here. Chiquita says, is that distilled water? No, I'm just using tap water. You can use distilled water if you want. You can use filtered water also. Um, which I forgot to get. I have another recipe that I wanted to make for, um, anyway, that I, I might need to go get some. Okay, so white, uh, window cleaner, let's use a cup of um, white vinegar. I go through so much white vinegar. I put it in my laundry instead of, um, instead of uh, fabric softener. I use white vinegar and either purify or wintergreen oils. And I just put like five drops of oil in. Oops. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I'm not going to do the whole cup because this isn't a 22 ounce um, bottle. So I can save it for my next recipe. <laughs> and then I'm going to do um, 10 drops of the oil of my choice. And for this, I wanted to do um, tangerine. <laughs> Hold on, just. I'm doing my thing, honey. Oh, okay, sorry. That's okay. He forgets that I do this every Tuesday. Okay, so I put in tangerine, and I want to put in a little bit of eucalyptus too, because no, I want to use spearmint because I love the way that smells when I'm cleaning, and my husband likes the minty spell smells as well. Okay, and the mints, you don't need as many drops um, because they're pretty strong. So now I'm just filling up the rest of it with water. 
And I'm going to need to go get more water, of course. Okay. Okay, so that was another 30 seconds throwing that together for a window cleaner. How much are you spending on window cleaners and bleach sprays and things like that? So make sure to uh, shake each time you use it so you get the, you blend the oils in with your <clears throat> liquid. Okay, so that's set. Next, um, I put a re I'm putting a recipe for toilet bowl cleaner, but I'm not going to um, make that. Uh, for that, you can use a quarter cup of white vinegar, um, half a cup of baking. Here's what I do. I put a little baking soda in and I put a little vinegar in. I don't measure anything. I put a few drops of my On Guard and lemon and then um, scrub the bowl and um, then flush it. The instructions on here, you can scrub, you can do your oils and baking soda first and then, and scrub it and then add your vinegar and then scrub again and let it sit for five minutes. Totally up to you. Don't make it difficult. <laughs> okay, so I need to run downstairs and get, um, get some more water. So I will be right back, okay? to know how much I need. Okay. Okay, I apologize. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't lose anybody. All right, so next. This one I'm really excited about trying because I haven't yet, but I'm going to make the recipe. And it is for homemade bleach. So um, this one, I already got my label on my bottle. And so I'm going to take, it's going to take some filtered water and hydrogen peroxide, lemon juice, and lemon oil. All right, so, hmm. okay. Um, so you wanna do uh, your lemon oil first. Uh, it's for this size bottle, see I'm doing a big one. Uh, the recipe is for a four ounce, so I'm gonna quadruple that and um, so it's uh, 12 drops lemon. And then <clears throat> half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Half a tablespoon times four. So two tablespoons of lemon juice. And um, a cup of... No, I used up my cup with water. So a cup of water. 
Uh, sorry, this is filtered water. And I hope I have enough peroxide. Oh, I might have enough. And then a cup of peroxide. And I have barely enough. Yep. Whew, that was close. <laughs> and that's it. I might not use the whole thing. Okay. Great. All right, so um, that's it. Now my homemade bleach is made and I don't have to worry about it destroying my clothes when I drip it on my clothes because that seems to happen all the time. Um, shakes well, uh, shake well, and then it, this will last two to three months if stored out of sunlight. I, that's why I like these bottles because they're dark, And um, but if you keep it in your cupboard, I'm going to smell this. Mm. I can't wait to try it. I'll have to, I'll I'll put a comment on here when I try it in my next laundry load of um, uh, whites and uh, let you know how it turns out. Okay, so uh, that's cheap. Uh, well, bleach is cheap, but bleach is not healthy for you, and it ruins your clothes if you get it on a drip on your um, on on it while you're trying to use it. Okay, so um, that's our third thing. Well, we've been at, at this for, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes now? And most of the time I was talking. So uh, wood polish. You can use white vinegar, olive oil, and an oil, an essential oils as for uh, a wood polish. And actually Arbor Vitae is really great for, um, what did that say? It's great for preserving wood. <clears throat> Um, you can make an air or carpet freshener. Uh, I didn't bring this stuff up. I could have done this, but I ran out of time. So you take a mason jar and you put in baking soda and then you put in some and you mix some essential oils in with it um, and then cover it with either like a cheesecloth or a, a, a jar lid that you poke holes in it. And you can either, you know, place that wherever you want to in your home to um, clean the air, or you can shake it out on your carpet and let it sit for 10 minutes and then vacuum it, and that's a carpet freshener. Um, so I, I like using um, baking soda for um, freshening the carpet. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to make is a fresh room spray. <clears throat> and I put, I'm going to put on how many is there 10 um i'm putting on 10 recipes different recipes you can use for fresh room sprays and these you'll be happy to uh, not you know breathe in because they will um be they'll be supportive for your body they will um, not harm your body and they won't harm your animals i mean you can just have fun with this okay or your kids so um, the one that I chose is called Minty Calm, and um, I'm going to do it in my bigger bottle here, um, I'm, just because I like the bigger bottles. I did one of these uh, Christmas time, and I sprayed my fake tree, and that was really cool. So I'm going to use, for um, Minty Calm, I'm using Spearmint, Peppermint, and Lavender. And I'm doing five drops each. Um, these are for one ounce bottles. So for my big bottle here, I'm going to quadruple that. Actually, no, I'm not going to quadruple that. I'm just going to do 10 drops each and, um, and that should be good. And actually, I'm going to add lime to it. See, I like to 
not make up my own recipes. <laughs> what do you like to do? Do you like to stick to the recipe that it says? Or change it up? Okay. And then you just want to fill up the rest with water. And again, this isn't filtered water. This is just regular tap water that I'm using. And we're good to go. Easy peasy. Um, pick your, uh, make a room spray tonight and let me know which recipe you cho chose or one of your other, of the other recipe, you know, the cleaning recipes. Let me know what you're making um, and how you're using it. If you make the bleach, let me know how it turns out um, in your laundry or however you decide to use it. Um, and then if you haven't tried the, on Guard Cleaner Concentrate, I highly recommend it because this bottle lasts forever. I haven't bought Cleaner Concentrate in a really long time and um, I still have a third of the bottle left. So um, get yourself some spray bottles and uh, sometimes I'm actually even lazy and I'll just throw baking soda on the um, shower floor and I'll just drip a little bit of this on there and that's what I use. <laughs> because I'm lazy. Anyway. All right. So, um, get your motivate oil on, go declutter a corner in your house and, um, make some, uh, room spray or cleaning spray, whatever you want. And let me know what you're doing. And I will see you next week. We are going to talk about what's next week. Next week is making more money and I'm going to combine it with a meditation and relaxation um, because when you're stressed about money that's when it seems like you don't have enough I mean you you're not able to make more so we're going to combine that oh I forgot to show you the box of of uh, um, bottles comes with this cool little cleaner so anyway all right guys have a lovely evening it was fun chatting with you tonight. Um, if you have any more questions, put them on the comments. Um, if not, let me know what you're making and I will see you next week. All right. Love you. Bye.